Happy 1123 Fibonacci sequence day. Today is a day after Thanksgiving and a day before my birthday and also a show that Yachtly Crew will be playing at in Dana Point at the Stillwater Spirits and Sounds. Uh, we love it there. We love the vibe there. We had an extraordinary Thanksgiving yesterday with my friends Jenny, my sister, my family. Oh, they're all my family. And what you're going to hear on this podcast is some behind-the-scenes stuff with uh, Yachtly Crew when we were at Discovery Ventura on November 17th. So here you'll hear a great interview with Tommy Bowie, a.k.a. Thomas Gardner Jr., You'll hear some conversations with Paulie Shores, a.k.a. Paul Pate. You'll hear uh, Baba Bowie, a.k.a. Chaz Ruiz. You'll hear David Bowie, a.k.a. David Spangler, talking in the background. You'll hear Sailor Hawkins, a.k.a. Rob Jones, doing a drum check. You'll hear Philly Ocean, a.k.a. Philip Daniel doing some singing. And there you have it. Oh, also, there's a really interesting conversation in here with Pauly Shores about uh, his, his, uh, what's the word? His philosophy, the right word. Maybe his philosophies of riffing, you know, doing saxophone riffs and stuff. He, uh, from what he he says, he hasn't. He really hasn't done too much. Just riffing, riffing along on the sax. Usually, he's playing other people's stuff. So I said, "Oh man, I would love if you were to send me just some really just experimental sax. Send it to me. Email it to me. I'll I'll include it in in the podcast. So I think I'm gonna include one of those in here." You never know where it's going to pop up. Okay, folks, without further ado. Oh, also, we got Northside Radio podcast. He left, he, he left a really cool message. So check out his podcast sometime. Also, if any of you want to contribute to this podcast and just know that your stuff will be heard on Spotify and TuneIn, iTunes, lots of directories and apps. Send them to Inspirato Projecto, I N S P I R A D O P R O J E C T O at gmail.com. Send those to me, and I will include them in here. I would say send around, you know, maybe around the uh, three or four minute mark. That's always good. Send me, send me stuff, and I'll play it on here. It's my, it's my pleasure. I want to share you guys with the rest of the world. So, there you have it. Send me your audio. Without further ado. <laughs> Wait, it's better. Yeah, how cool is that? The actual horn. I'll send you a link. It's like four minutes long. I mean, that's a note. I mean, what note is that? Is that a C? It's <laughs> crazy. People just pop it up out of nowhere. It's like a Danny Elfman uh, I mean, it's a no. Video. I think it's like a It's seat. so crazy. I love this one take. Oh, my God. They went into the car. Going on a journey. Where did they film that? In Vegas? That's crazy. It's in New York. The alarm turns on. That's so cool. Ha <laughs> ha.
We're going to be doing that song. Even the nights are better. Better than dun, 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 since I found you. Oh, oh, oh. So we're going to do that song. And uh, I just thought, a thought just popped into my brain. Philly was singing it to himself to, to get the, the lyrics down in his brain. And I started thinking, interesting. I thought of like, uh, okay, so since I found you. Oh, oh, oh. What if it's a a female alien she abducts a human and they fall in love and they fall in love and maybe she's instructed to to put that human back put him back wipe his memory clean and so maybe she makes a little a little a little deal with him like okay look you're my long lost love I'm not going to wipe your memory clean. We're going to put you back in your bed. You're going to fall asleep. You're going to wake up. And you're going to have memories of this. You're going to remember this. And at the proper time, you will remember when to meet. Maybe he meets, you know, there's a certain time that they, that they, that they agreed to link up to meet. And... Uh, So there you go. So there you go. And then maybe they end up uh, having some hybrid uh, alien child or something. But I managed in that song, Even the nights are better. That's when, that's when she abducts him. Since I found you. I think it'd be kind of funny. And then you play that song during a montage or something. Advisors and creators and people who, who are really successful at doing that have that level of like they've attained that level where they can where they can play on on uh critical without criticism of their sound you know what i mean like they just sense they have they that, can let you can tell when sloppy. they hit that freedom where it's like they don't they they've i mean I, there's some i guess it depends on what style of music you're also creating now i'm getting over, again over analytical but like there's some styles like ornette coleman was into no forms and no oh. song forms and I think it was Ornette Coleman, one of the free jazz guys. Is that someone you admire? Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a style of jazz I love to listen to certain on some occasion, but not all the time because it's very chaotic and it's. It sounds very, stream like, of consciousness. Yes, yes, like, very it's just, much so. I feel like doing and this right like, now, and that's what's there's happening. what you would call wrong notes in the horns all the time, but it's part of that path of creativity. Like they make that bad note. So it's a its part own art form. Yes, like it's beautiful because that becomes the art form, that becomes the safe zone. It's like what is one person's safe zone is another person's pure art form. Like that's their everyday sandbox. Right. For another person, it's like, ooh, I'm going to really dare myself to go over into this realm of like pure experimentation. Yeah. For other people, that's a big daring step. Yeah. Other people, it's just like, blah, 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 you know, it's just yeah. like they're all. And I've met, I've played, oh man, some of the, re, some of the horn players in that previous band we were speaking of. Um, that's what I really loved about them. Is that can I can I uh, put a plug in for another band on please on, if it happens to get on Inspirado Projecto yes please um, plug everything and every okay. all the things so there's this great this band is... I played in and I'm still considered family because they're like you know when I mean, you play with guys long enough and especially the horn players I really love playing with them <coughs> in the band Mexico '68 because they were all they oh, were 68 all, I yeah, said '66 or Mexico '68 68. it was check it out it's actually an Olympics uh, it was a, there was this huge political or like social uprising and. All these people were killed, and it wasn't in the. They like pre, they squashed the the. They wouldn't put it in the press. It was the same time as uh, the Me the the 1968 Olympics in Mexico, where they were protest. There was some kind of protest. I don't know what the protest was for. So many people lost their lives, and it was never like made because it was at the same time as the Olympics. You know, they tried to make your city look nice. It happened and clean. on the same day as the Olympics in, in Mexico. <laughs> like leading up to the Olympics, it wasn't during the Olympics. I think. If were I the Olympics in Mexico? Mm-hmm. So okay, so the the Olympics were coming around 1968 Mexico, yep. And this big uprising. What was yeah, the uprising? And they were about? killed, but like they were they were shot down, mowed down by by police. I think I don't really. And what was look it, it up? What there, was the I'll what were they to, standing for? Uh, I don't remember the whole. Oh oh oh, gotcha, I don't know gotcha, what it was gotcha. for. They were protesting something. But check it out, Mexico. Cause yeah. Anyways, yes, so yes, the horn yes, players yes. in that band were very good at like just like creating on the spot. They're always mm. like, let's try this horn line and like. Every once in a while, someone would hit a wrong note, and they're like, "No, we can make that a part of the 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 melody." Like, so they would incorporate cool. it. Cool, dude. Would three 
saxophone players, a trombone, and a trumpet, That's all doing that all together about. at the oh same time. Oh my god! Oh yeah. my god! And just yes handing each other, just going, "Yep, okay, I like it. Let's keep going." Yeah, yeah. Let's we keep going. On Dude, that's that's oh man, that's that's that that's the ideal. That's the ideal that you you always want to be in yeah. when you're an ensemble because give and take, everyone's got a voice. People are listening, talking, not afraid to take the space, and also not afraid to sit back while other people take space. Beautiful, beautiful. That's just beautiful beautiful sculpting with what is there and what is you know that's like the exquisite corpse the surrealists used to do that you know about the exquisite, no. the exquisite corpse they also do it with words too it started as words um how they came up with the name of it was they wrote a bunch of letters down on, uh and they cut them out and they threw all the or these words wrote down these words on paper yep. mix them all up threw it up in the sky and exquisite and corpse landed next to each other so they decided to name the game exquisite corpse and so they would do this and they would write poetry like that but they would also do art. So each artist, let's say there's three of us, we each had a piece of paper. And so we'd fold it equally in three parts, top, middle, and bottom. And we would all start at the top, and then we would draw on that little tiny portion. Nobody would see what anybody else yeah. was doing. And you draw on that little portion, and then you put maybe one or two little lines bleed down into yep. the next thing. You flip it in over, frame, yeah. so you hand it over, yeah. and the next guy, all he's got is those two little things. Now it's just Genius. like he's got all that open oh, ground. I want to see that. He flips it over. He's got a couple little you know, like things in there. Game. Hands it, and you know what's so crazy? The more you do it, what's beautiful is the more you do it, the more you all get in tune, and you all start without even seeing each other or even talking about it, you start getting in tune. I remember specifically there was a time where, where I drew people with fish heads, and so they had these fish heads, and the chip chip, their necks came down. You know, okay. I flipped it over, so all you saw was like the f four little lines. Yeah. You know, the neck, basically a little piece of the neck of the yeah. one fish head. Chip chip, next one. Someone, someone drew the next thing. They flipped it over, passed it on, passed it on. It went, you know, four or five, came back. The last person drew legs coming out, standing no. in water with dead fish floating in it. No way. And we open up these things, we're all going, oh my God, dude. Wow. And it's beautiful because the minds start getting into the sink. It starts getting into this beautiful sink and you start seeing how it just, I mean, it's crazy, dude. It talk about, dude, it's beautiful. So that's kind of like, that's what reminds me of the exquisite corpse. It sounds to me, that's what you guys were doing with the music. Yeah. They go, who did it? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, we'll just keep going. Do, 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 do. You know, and then they just turn that into something. That's cool. Creativity right there. Wow, that's fun. You know, it'd be fun. Can you, know, you and I do that game? We oh, God, yeah, absolutely. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, yeah. I absolutely. Dave would be into it. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh, yes. Who else would be into it? Oh, yes. Chaz might do it. Oh, man. But Rob, Rob and Tommy, they'll be too, into the, they'll be too, too busy. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. They're, they always, they always, like, Rob's always got so much stuff to, to do leading oh, up to the yeah. shows. And Tommy's always, like, going God. over his guitar lines. I would and love if we made Exquisite Corpses. And I can make a photo essay of all the Exquisite Corpses wow. that the Hot Yachtly crew guys do. And bam, we put that up. I can print it. I can self-publish it. Oh, I got to get my, don't let me forget my table. And let's go get it now. And, uh... The Exquisite Corpses, what's so fun is it's a perfect game for people who don't believe in... Like, who, people who don't think that they're artists right. or who don't think that they draw well, this is the perfect game for those people because they just, they can squiggle. They can draw, you know, a bunch of triangles if they want. They could draw a swirlies, whatever, whatever, you know, dots. Um, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all available and open and okay. So even the tiniest mistake is what was intended, intended, intended. And, you know, so I was thinking, okay, now, with you with you playing, you know, saxophone in a very erratic way, what I'm thinking is it might be cool, a fun game to, um, oh, yes, thank you. It might be a fun game for you to stand in the face of the, of the, the, of the uh, analytical guy, stand in the face and go, hey, dude, sit out a second. You know, I'm going to get messy in the, in the sandbox. And you know what? I might get mud under my fingernails. You know? <laughs> so you just tell them that. And you go, okay, dude, guess what? You know, give me permission to do this and do it right now. And then you and then you step shoes in the other guy and you go, okay, I give you permission. And that's all there is to it. He goes, yeah, okay, I give him permission. And you go, okay, thank you. And then, and then you go do it. <laughs> this is a kind of like funny little thing that you can, you know, little conversations you can have with yourself to be able to grant you the keys to that kingdom of just pure open imagination. Inspirado Projecto. Mm-hmm.
Inspirado ectoplasm. Inspirado projectoplasm. 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 Inspirado. Projecto. 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 Inspirado. Sporadic. 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 Sporado. Inspo. Inspa. Inspe. Inspa. Inspora. Do. Inspora. Do. Inspirado. Bahama. Come on, pretty. Projecto. Projecto. Come on, pretty. Projecto. Inspirado. Projecto. Projecto. Come on, pretty. Mama. Inspirado. Projecto. Come on, inspirado. Projecto. Projecto. Inspirado. Inspirado. Baby, why don't we go? Pro projecto, mutato, tomato, projecto, inspirado, potato, inspirado, projecto, potato, inspirado, projecto, potato, palo, potato, inspirado, projectado, pitado, y a mataro, comparo, mi caro, i mafilochado, un spur, ado, p, u, o, u, j, e, t, o, a, i, n, s, p, r, n, do, u, pro, j, e, k, t, o, 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 i, n, s, p, i, a, n, r, i, n, a, do, pro, j, n, i, e, n, O O inspira do project O O O O inspira do project 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 O Inspirado projecto. Trying to get the show ready so we look like fucking rock stars. I just did. I helped with the step and repeat. Let's go. You gotta go again. Yo, yo, yo. This is RST. Yo, this is RST with Yachtly Crew. Yo, now it's time for another episode. Now it's time for another very special episode. You know what? I'm, I'm like fucking. To the shit. Up to the shit. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot guarantee I will make it out alive as Tommy is very hungry. We're backstage. We're backstage. Exclusive, exclusive interview. Live. Up close and personal. On you're, you're probably listening to this on Spotify or something. It's not live on Spotify, just so you know. But we'll pretend it's live. It's live right now. But wh whoever's listening to this, it's not really live. It'll be, it'll be hey, like... Uh, you guys can't put your fucking bags on the goddamn food table. 
See, this is this is this is part of it. This is part of it. That's right. Number one. You can't put your food. Dave, we're trying to podcast over here, will you? What you mean? Oh, who who is that? Who just walked through the door over there? Who is that over there? It's inside the moon. What you mean? Uh, how, Back how to did, Tommy. Back did to you Tommy. follow? Did you follow us here? No. Oh, young sung young sung moon just left. Uh, so what new songs are you working on? Oh, well, I don't really like to talk about songs before they're done. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what what concepts? No. Not as concepts, but again, I don't want to talk about it. But I've got like I'd say I have like six or seven new ones, and then like I have I actually went through my phone the other day and found and went through like all my because I do voice memos of ideas I have. Yes. And I was like I was just due for to go through and like pick out some stuff, and I was like, man, I found like ten different things that I really liked. You know, there's a lot you don't like too. A lot of like oh that's crap, that's crap. But then I found like ten different things. I was like. Oh, this actually might be something. Whoa. So I have like a lot of ideas Dude, that I need to work on. Yeah, it's so great that you did that for yourself. You gave yourself a gift. You gave your past self right. gave your current yeah. self a gift. I'd like to thank my past self. <laughs> yes, and, and you, who's ever listened to this in the future? That's right. Is now listening to me in the present, Whoa. thanking my past Ooh. self. Wow. Ooh. That's a lot of time zones. I know. It's, it's kind oh, of a sheesh. Woo. That's a mind bender. Oh my God! You've just entered a Mobius strip, folks. This is like a, a bow of infinity. You've wrapped yourself up. A Mobius strip? Well, you explain a Mobius strip to me. What's a Mobius Oof. strip? It's like uh, okay. So imagine an infinity symbol. Imagine like uh, let's see if I can make a Mobius strip. I'm gonna see if I can make a poor man's. Oh no, we need that paper. All right. So that's true. That's true. All right. So imagine. Okay. So imagine taking a piece of paper and um, you know, like like an inch tall. And you, let's say, imagine, like, instead of, like, making a zero, you, you twist one side and you connect the edges. So it's, okay. you could follow along one edge and it'll all, it'll always keep going it's around and around. Like, yeah, it's all connected in a very it's infinity a, a kind of thing. Strip or drip? Mobius, strip. Mobius it's like strip. you've, you've connected the past and the future right there in the present tense, right oh in the God. middle of that whole thing. Dude, that was incredible. So the people of the future, actually, to you, it's the present. We're talking in the present about the past. So what happened was your past self gave your future self a gift, which was this voice memo. Yeah. You planted the seed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, boy. Who's arriving? Who's that arriving? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. There's this, there's this invisible voice. Is that Sean Connery in a submarine? It's Darth Shonnery. Darth Shonnery. Dude. That's right. It's a new character. You've already seen him one time before, but never again. Darth Darth Connery. Darth Connery. So Darth Connery. So do, do you have any breathing issues like the Dar- Darth? Yeah, that is bad. That's not gonna sound good on the podcast. Uh, we apologize, to everybody. Across the right the now. <laughs> Mr. Tommy has given us all the bronchitis. Darth that Connery. Did, that we look for. Darth no Connery. No one else will ever know that. Ooh. So he's a Sith Lord by night and a spy by day. Sith Lord by night. <laughs> no one else by day. Oh, did you say Nautilus by day? Oh, that's right, he's in the submarine. You are not welcome here. Oh my god, you know, that's brilliant. Darth, Darth Connery? Darth Connery. Floats around in a spaceship that looks like a submarine. How about Be that? Be careful, son. No one makes a difference on this ship. <laughs> there it is. He floats through space and underwater in the submarine. I float through space and time. Oh my god, it's Darth Darth Connery. Darth Connery. The, the nautical right. the nautical Stay Sith. Right. It's only one in, not two. Oh that's right. Connery. <laughs> that way you say it faster. The nautical Sith. The sailor Sith. Oh and my lightsaber. It's not red. Oh, what it's is it? Purple. Oh, it's purple. It's purple. Like the throwing hard cock that you wish you could fucking suck. What? It's now next Darth week. Connery. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Darth Connery is an auteur of language. And, uh, uh oh, uh oh, the cops arrived. They're going to arrest him, apparently. It's Don't a- worry, son. It's going to be fine. Appar- Don't worry about the thing. Everything's going to be just grand. Oh, yeah. 
Keep calm, keep calm, and sail. I believe they say sail in the UK. On. And sail on. That's right. Well, it's not far down to paradise. At least it's not for me. When the wind is right, you can sail away. That's right. Right. Well, from what I understand, it's two tickets to paradise. Oh, oh! I love that sea shanty. That's one of my favorites. Ooh, ooh! That's a good horn solo. That that was a really good horn solo. Holy cow! Who would have thought that Darth Connery would show up here in his flying submarine? Dude, that was great. He spoke to us through the periscope. We didn't once actually see him. We we uh, we saw sort of a, a a glimmer of his image in a, in a porthole, but aside from that, um, I th- oh I realized. <laughs> I just realized, I think the reason why he has that breathing thing is that he's actually breathing in the fresh air. Yeah, he's like breathing in the fresh air. Yeah, he's trying to breathe it in. Yeah. Holy cow. There it is. He's surfacing. He's surfacing again. So, so Tommy, with these songs, are you going to uh, weave them all together into a, an EP or a full album, perhaps? That's a good question. You know, I'm kind of going back and forth. I would like a full album, but I guess the way to go now is EPs. And like, you you know, do five or six songs and then five or six so- so- more songs is two different EPs. That's kind of like chapters or volumes, so to speak. Right, or double disc. Dude, that's interesting, because then it's like an Encyclopedia Britannica thing. I mean, you could actually... Could you imagine you do a whole alphabet thing? Where it's like, bam, five, five at a time, you know, or whatever. I had a, a concept... Uh, where I wanted to travel to every different state and write a song in every state about that state. And just 50 songs. Dude, could you imagine? Imagine if you do 50 songs. And then, you know what? Dave Grohl kind of stole my idea. After that, the HBO show came out where he was, like, traveling to different places and wrote a song about the different places. He didn't do, he didn't do 50. He did Well, I think it's time for a, a tour because, dude, imagine that. You do you really do a... a I mean, it'd be a 50-day tour through all 50 states. Whoa. You play once in each state. <laughs> Didn't they do that? Uh, uh, Flaming Lips did that, I think. Really? The 50-day tour? They did tour? something like that. It was like, a, it was like a large, like, huge wow. tour. Wow. Hey, 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 Philly Ocean. Hey, everybody. Hey, Philly Ocean has hey, entered the building. Hey, you're on the podcast, Philly. You're on the podcast. You're on the podcast. You're on the podcast. Oh, no way. Thank you, thank So no, Philly, take the megaphone away from Phil- he's already loud enough. Yeah, that's that's Darth Shonnery. Dar- I mean Darth Connery. Darth Connery. Darth Shonnery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, the party. The party yacht has entered the bu- the one man party yacht has entered the building. The first one of the night. That is the first one of the night. What's up, baby? So, all right, uh, how 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 uh, many songs on an EP would you expect? Five or six. Sure, Phil, I'll have some. Talking to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's Tommy. That's good. We're using. Uh, we're slowing down his voice real time. Give him the business. I just probably put my. You're sick, aren't you? No. Are you sick? He's not sick. No, he's not sick. It's because you're sick. Oh, oh my God, Sour Patch Kids, dude. Oh my God, dude. Philly Ocean with the Sour Patch Kids, dude. Thank you for sharing these. Oh my God. Mm. Oh boy, you heard it here first, folks. The green room, the green room party. Oh my God. Mm. Thank you for sharing these. Man, I love it. Yeah, that's right. They should go in the rider. Oh my God, yeah. Oh my God. Mm 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 mm. Mm. Mm 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 mm. mm. Oh my god. Yeah. This tastes so who's good. The, who's leaves with the cockroaches? You take the No tell motel. Oh my god, this is this is a red. Mmm. This definitely tastes like a color red. Mmm. I mean So how many songs are going on an EP? I'm gonna say six. Five, six. It's actually technically it's a time thing, not a song thing. 
oh, technically really? a single I mean, is less than. Good I, I saw. I, I'm probably getting the numbers wrong, but it's something yeah. like a single is less than ten minutes. An EP is like ten to twenty five minutes, and twenty five minutes plus is an album. Wait. So an EP is up to twenty five minutes. Yeah. I think I'm, I might be getting the words wrong, but. They're super high end pro, ready to go, and they're doing it all natural. So. The only way to compete with them is to make it so oh, yo, yo. destroy Inspirata Projecto, how you doing? Northside Radio, Greenville, BC. I'm just chilling. Looking over my episode and whatnot. And my call is, I wanted to see if y'all had an Inspirata Projecto audio commercial that I could air on Northside Radio in between songs or whatnot. Um... Let me know. Hit me back up. If so, email it to northsidetv926 at gmail.com. Peace. Have a blessed night. The magic is happening. The magic is happening. Yeah. The magic is happening. Magic is happening now. The magic is happening. Da 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 da. Magic is happening now. Da 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 da. Magic is happening. The magic is happening now. It's happening now. Now it's happening now. Now. It's happening now, now, 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 it's happening now, magic is happening, bum, 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 magic is happening, bum, 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 magic is happening. Bum 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 bum, magic is happening. Bum 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 bum. We have the Yachtly Crew merch booth set up over here. These beautiful lights coming in. We've got the uh, the step and repeat area over here for people to take a photo in front of. There's a uh, just it's a it's 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 so exciting. It's so exciting. I'm so excited for this show. This is so exciting. More to come. Awesome, dude. That is so cool of you. Bring it in. Bring it in, buddy. Dude. Thank you so much. Of course, man. Of course. You want a bite? Uh, No, thanks. I'm driving. Uh,
Um, can I have a couple of those fries? Though? Yeah, of course. Was sitting at the end of my driveway, out in 
the sun And I feel so ashamed For what I did I feel so fucking much ashamed For what I did I found some dirt On the street Two handfuls of dirt on the street With gravel in it I walked on over to the frog About the size of three hams Was the frog Right there in the divot Where the street meets The very docile frog sitting there trusting me. And I poured sand all over his head and I buried him right there. Under the dirt Found on the street And I buried him right there In the curb Where the meets the street Where the curb meets the street Where it meets the street Where the curb meets the street Where it meets the street Just looked at it right there at my feet.